Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ekron, or as we call it, a podcast. There are thousands of Disney podcasts on the internet, and this is one of them. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. I'm Jordan. And you're listening to Yeah, Mickey New Dares. Tonight we get to play another round of Where's Duncan. We check in on the Little Mermaid. Galactic Star Cruiser pulls a uh, Costa Concordia. Costa Concordia. Costa Concordia. Okay. Do you not remember the Costa Concordia? No. Oh, well, I'm going to remind you. Does anybody? I do. Okay. <laughs> and for our main topic, ooh, GeoGuessr Disneyland Edition. That's right. So until then, uh, Josh, what do you want to talk about? Um, so. <laughs> Wait. I, I've been, I've been, Hold on. I, Ignore that question. Ryan's here in the comments. Hey, wait, Ryan, weren't you supposed to be on this show? Yeah, he promised us. You promised. Anyways, while we're waiting for Ryan. Uh, I love you, Ryan. My comments. Um, so I've been reading a study. Yeah, about what? Huh? What was it about? Oh, no, that's it. I just want to tell you I've been reading a study. <laughs> oh. I guess, I guess any progress is better than none at all. I'm, I'm very proud of you, too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> as soon as you didn't the... think I could read, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm shocked as hell. <laughs> Ryan, you did promise. It, it was yeah, recorded, yeah. Ryan. We have it on tape. Not that anybody saw it, but it's still there. Still good. Still yep. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Josh, so, it's fantastic that you were reading a study because I also was reading a study. Uh, you need to send a link. Oh, oh what, were, what study were you reading? It was mind your own damn business, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, Ryan, I'm sending you the link. <laughs> Pretty sure I have your email address. Doop a doop. Okay, Ryan, it'll have butts in the title. Butts in the title. <laughs> I, I hope that's a complete subject to this email. It's literally the entire subject. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> nice. Nice. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> so, uh... No, I really did know. send you the link. It's, it's in your inbox. So, where's Duncan? Oh, hey, we're not there yet. First, I, I want to play. I want to see if Ryan actually shows up. I want to see if Ryan is a man of his word, or if he's just a liar like me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> can we back up? I, f I feel like I've gone too far. Hey, yeah. while we're waiting for Ryan, Josh, can I can I rant about something real quick? About something completely has nothing to do with this show or anything else. Yeah, go go for it. So rant rant away. <laughs> I've been seeing these things for a while now on the internet, mostly on TikTok, and then like four weeks later on Instagram Reels, where people are like, <laughs> people are like, hey, here's this common thing that everyone's been doing wrong for 50 plus years. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know what? My kids see, see, keep sending me the fucking Allen Ranch one going like this. No, that's not what the short arm on the Allen wrench is for. It's so you can fucking flip it over and put more torque into it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. That's one of the things. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> like, my, my least favorite one, my least favorite one is the stupid uh, colander to, to get the hot water out of the noodles. You know, right. like, you take the colander, <laughs> you pour the hot water into the colander. You, now you have noodles in the colander. That's the right way. I so, keep so people, wait, wait. Let, are they putting the colander in the pot? And in the pot, it and then dumping it upside down. So then the noodles are still in the pot, 
But also, you probably just melted part of the colander. <laughs> yeah, now you're fucking intaking microplastics. I mean, granted, some people have metal colanders. I'm not that fancy. Also, what's wrong with the old <laughs> correct way of doing this? What about the uh, the the the, the t- taking a dump one where you face the tank? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> have you not seen that one? You've been what? pooping. Hold on, is there another entire- way? <laughs> Shut the fuck up and get out. No. How am I supposed to eat my cereal while taking a dump if I'm not facing the tank? It's a table. I hate you. Hate you. <laughs> no, I'm not alone in this, Josh. Because the guy next to me is doing the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing this in public. <laughs> but there's no there's no fucking tank in public. It's just a pipe. I know. I, I have to bring like little shot glasses of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> and the automatic flush really ruins my day. <laughs> Jordan's going to listen back to this <laughs> It'd be like I'm really glad that I wasn't there So what What other fucking Things have you seen uh, Oh I don't uh, Oh I saw one today Mind numbing This one really s- set me off About Josh the correct way to eat a cinnamon roll I didn't know there was a wrong way To eat a cinnamon roll I'm sorry there, there's no wrong way you can fucking start at start at any part of the outside and eat in, or you can fucking fucking unravel it and slurp it like spaghetti, or you can fucking pull the middle out like a goddamn like a goddamn uh, slinky and eat it that way. Oh wait, wait, wait that was the way they no said. That's what they said. Way. They but said that. That's the only way they eat a cinnamon roll. That's messy. Well, hold on. I I have. I have strong feelings about pulling the middle out and eating that first because the middle is far I'm away. Sure. I'm sorry. I meant part to, uh, of a cinnamon roll. <laughs> was a uh, wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that would stop happening. I'm trying to, man. I, I forget that I'm trying to be a better me. There was a little face behind you. That was weird. <laughs> there was a little face behind me? Yeah, it's right down there. Anyway, actually, no. <laughs> Since you brought up becoming a better you, I think you're doing a fantastic job, and I'm very proud of you. You've kind of inspired me to become a better you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? Fuck you, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think Ryan's coming. <laughs> How do you know? (laughs) Because the vibrator app I have on my phone. You know what? No, that's too far. (laughs) That's way too far. (laughs) That's kind of just up to the edge and then you stop. Anyway, Josh and listener and viewer, if anyone's noticed, you'll see that Jordan is not here tonight. No, no, he's not. And so that means we get to play America's second favorite game, Where's Duncan? And I, I, I hate to bring I, it to I, 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 Oh, go ahead. Oh, no. What were you going to say? I, I know where he is. He's here. Wait a minute. You're not Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. So uh, I'm pretty sure Jordan went to Southern California Hold on. to start a fight. Okay, I'm here. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. You look great. You sound great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan. No. That's not hey what guys. it says at all. <laughs> it's Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Well, if uh, if we're being technical, it's pronounced a uh, uh, Foden, Forden, Gasly. <laughs> First of all, that that's a lot of letters for that sound, and none of it's wrong. I just hate the English language. Yeah, no, it sucks. Uh, it's definitely a baloney colonel type situation. <laughs> a what? A baloney colonel? I knew that oh. guy. Colonel baloney. 
<laughs> that was my PE teacher in middle school. He, he was a major pain. I saw but that no- movie. <laughs> I've never actually seen that movie. Uh, the only, there's only one person that's ever seen that movie. It was Ryan. Ryan. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> you single-handedly supported the Wayans family for a while there. <laughs> I, I, I think if I remember Major Payne correctly, I supported the Way In family. Uh, just the one Way In. Oh, uh, j- just Damon. Yeah. Django? Django Way In. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <coughs> what did we have in Damon Wayne's? Like, I remember him being like the Wayne, but then like Marlon kind of took over. Well, uh, I think his son, Damon Wayne's Jr., has like k- taken over as the official Wayans now. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, like Happy. Well, I mean, look, it's not like he took over the family business, but like he was in Happy Endings. He's been in a bunch of movies. He was a new girl for like a season and a half or two seasons. Oh. Um, so no, wow. he's definitely like the the Wayans that's working right now. Oh, he's in Big Hero Six. No, w- hold on, no. Yeah, he, he was. He's uh, Wasabi, right? He's Wasabi. Yeah. Damn it. That was one of the things that you said that I have seen. I've seen a little bit of New Girl, but yeah, you should watch Happy yeah. Endings. Happy Endings is an underrated sitcom. I, I, really, to watch. I, I really tried hard to to like New Girls. New Girl. Well, New Girls might be something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I also have a wildly unhealthy crush on Zoe Deschanel. So, uh, look, it goes all the way back saying- to Elf. You say tomato, I say potato. What did you call her? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the last thing Ryan told me to watch was the, I forgot what it was called, but I loved it. The the super awkward dude on HBO. Oh, um, the rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was rough, <laughs> but in the best way. <laughs> It's I, I I love when someone applies genius logic to idiot situations, um, and that's absolutely what the rehearsal is. Is um, uh, Josh? Did you end up seeing that? No, was I supposed to? No, no, no. It's it wasn't. Yes, you were. Uh, so it is from the guy who did Nathan for you, Nathan Fielder. Um, and what he does is he creates. Do you know of the show? Have you heard of it? I've not heard of it. Okay. Awesome concept. It's so stupid. Uh, it is literally a guy who creates uh, rehearsal spaces and builds sets for people to feel more comfortable having conversations and rehearsing a conversation that they're planning to have so they can have everything down to the exact detail so they know what to do when they have the conversation with somebody. And it's small stuff like I lied to my friends about going to Harvard. And like it happened 10 years ago and no one brings it up now. And he builds a bar. He builds the dude's apartment. He like walks around New York with this guy to like make sure he has uh, bits of information. And I think one of my favorite things, hopefully uh, JC felt the same way. One of my favorite things is that uh, the guy plans to tell his friend over trivia because they do trivia every Thursday. Uh, And Nathan is like, well, hey, it's going to be a lot easier if you know the answers, right? It's because you won't have to think about the answers to the questions and it's less time. So why don't we give the answers? And the guy's like, no, that's cheating. I'm not going to do that. So Nathan's like, yeah, you know, I think I have to tell him anyways, but I can't let him know that he knows he's cheating. So he walks him around New York and he pays actors to like dress up the construction workers. And they're like, oh, hey, man, sorry, I dropped my plate in front of you. That's fine, China. China, that's my favorite story about 17th century workers, man. And he gives them all this information. So then when the guy does trivia, they're like, uh, in what country were the 17th century workers uh, most important? And that guy's like, oh, I think it's China. So like he he feeds him the information so he has the answers and doesn't even know about it. That's like the first episode. It's so <laughs> stupid. My favorite one of those, was, uh, they were like walking past a crime scene and the police officer standing outside was like, it's days like these that I cursed the Chinese for inventing gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, what country invented gunpowder? Like, oh, I think it was China. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's it's so the, dumb. That's the line that sold me on the show. Because up to that moment, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> and then it just, like, every episode just gets more and more intense. <laughs> 
Well, and it, it's great because it's actually watching a man's mind uh, unfold and bend into reality. Because uh, Josh, what ends up happening is that he Nathan feels really bad that he lied to this guy about cheating. So he tells uh, him about cheating and how he's sorry that he did it. And then when it cuts to the guy, it's a hired actor that Nathan hired to play that guy to see how he would react to Nathan telling him that he lied to him. And then he starts hiring actors for that scenario and then actors for another scenario. And it ends up with him having a fake family that he has to like start hiring actors to like start talking about like the conversations between him and his fake family and his fake son. Uh, it is the weirdest <laughs> but like, funniest show on HBO. He hires man, actors. That, that, that's that's some fucking dedication, man. He hires actors oh, it, to play uh, the actors that he hired. Oh yeah, like, it's, <laughs> they it's just like those, start stacking. It's like those fucking Russian dolls. Yeah, it's turtles all yes. the way down. <laughs> you, 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 you can't keep track of it, and I think that's one of the genius uh, natures of the show is that at some point, no one's real. Like not no one person is saying how they actually feel. They're all reading a script, and it's so <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, I, I love What's it. What's it called again? The rehearsal. The, and it's on HBO or now Max. Yeah, yeah it's on whatever the hell HBO cool. stuff is on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So HBO Max changed its name to just Max. And uh, hey, balls in your court, Peacock. Yeah. Did you see Peacock tweet like we're not gonna do it? Like, that's all I said. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh shit. So so okay, I don't care about HBO Max changing their fucking name. Why did they have to get a completely new app? Why couldn't they just update their fucking app? Wait, there's a new app? Yes. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's weird. On my mobile phone, I had to download a new app. But on my Roku, on my TV, it just replaced HBO Max. Uh, but on top of that, have you guys seen the um, security measures you have to go through to recover passwords? <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, I yeah. have. Oh, it yeah. is. Because uh, I think it's because Robbie's in Japan and then he's on our Disney Plus. So either – just one person in the fucking family gets kicked off Disney Plus or one device. Like either one of our two TVs in the house, my iPad, my phone, Robbie's phone or Vanessa's phone. Somebody's getting kicked the fuck off. And then every goddamn time for some reason, they have to do the full password recovery. But what? But on Disney Plus, what do you have to do? The full password recovery. <laughs> what does that entail? Oh, <laughs> well, it, it's recovery. No, <laughs> <I hate you. laughs> so it, uh, you put your password in wrong like twice and then you got to go to your email and fucking retrieve the, the secret code that they sent you, put the code in and then do a new password. But then it doesn't, your phone doesn't fucking auto save it. So if you forget to auto save it or, whatever or if i give robbie the code and he changes the password mm. then we don't know what the fucking password is anymore and so then i have to change mine next time i get kicked off and yeah it's just it's a lot back and forth between robbie and i changing our passwords see that's normal <laughs> that is normal it's stupid but it's normal the max yeah. ones I, i'm trying to f find a video of it because it is insane <laughs> Maybe it's on well, TikTok. so there's a there's a visual element to one of them, and to the first one, uh, Josh, it's it it has a picture of dice, and it tells you to tell to put in the number that all of the dice add up to. Um, but as you're familiar <laughs> with some slides, when you're like moving images, there's arrows on the right and left to move images. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of the dice in every single picture, at least one of them, is covered up by the arrow. So you can't see the number of the die <laughs> on that one die. Uh, so it's a complete guess as to what it could be. And then so, if you decide to go to so, audio, it's a different. So is it is is it is your phone long ways? Like when you do that, can you turn? Oh, this sideways? is on the laptop. Oh, <laughs> like this is on like it, it's the same for mobile, but it is like it is length like that um, mm. or width rather. Uh, but on your laptop, Earth. it's the same way. And then there's an audio one, and the audio audio one's like, okay, cool. Just tell us the one that's a pattern. 
we're going to play two sounds for you. Just tell us which one is a pattern. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. So like one, two, three, four, you're going to give me like A, D, F, G, X. And I know that's not a pattern. You play it. And do you have the clip, Jake? I, I'm finding one. It, okay. You play, you play it. It's, it's a Daft Punk song. <laughs> uh, I, or even better yet, Skrillex. <laughs> I, I, I want to I wanna prepare you, Josh, by telling you that there's no way you can be prepared for what the sound is. Like... You're you're on the right track, but you're still wrong, uh, oh, and it's God. because you're thinking too logically. You're thinking like a human. This this test was not put together by a human. This was like they told an AI, "We want security measures," and they were like, "Got it. Shoot someone in the heart." Understood. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's not at all what I just said. It is. Uh, it Why is. Why can't bonkers. I find one? This is I found it on TikTok. That's how I saw it. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm on TikTok talk right now. TikTok? That, you know what doesn't help is that I like every video I've ever seen. So <laughs> when I'm does. going through my liked videos, I'm like, oh, this one's from like, I, I went down 10 pages and it's from an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh, found yeah. it. <laughs> I'm sending it to your text right now, Jake. Oh, wait, wait. just send it to my TikTok. Do you know? Are we friends? Oh, are we friends on TikTok? Oh no! Do I have friends on TikTok? Oh. And so, What's your name? Tell no. everyone on the uh, internet right now. It's Mickey Mutineers. Okay. Um. How do you spell that? M I C K E Y M U T I N E R S. N-E-E-R-S. <laughs> uh, that name does not pop up. Is it like um? Space or hyphen or umlaut or what shit? No, it's. I mean, look here. Let me just. Uh, I'll just share my oh, screen. Can you QR code your screen? Look, look. It's Mickey Mutineers. All right, hold on. It's it's right here. <laughs> look, you are. There's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found you. I found you. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'll okay. you. I'm gonna message you, and I'm gonna send you the link. All right, there uh, we go. It says not sent. Why not sent? Hold on, add friends? me real quick. Add me. J- Jake's, Jake's How do I add you? <laughs> I love that we're split into three screens. We're all the way across the country from each other. Everything's oh, oh, working oh. fine, and we can't send messages to one another. Okay, we're friends now. Okay, let me send it are, again. Are we all, all the way across country from each other? <laughs> yeah, well, you and I pretty- aren't. <laughs> yeah, okay. like down the street. Uh, I was a little yeah. worried. Like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, this you, is so far just to get just to play this one video, and I'm loving. Yeah, this. that's probably not going to work. Let's see. No, it's going to be fine. Yeah, is it though? I'm sure it will. Hmm. Hey, Jake, is that Pandora's box under your Oswald ears? <laughs> yeah, why? Don't open it out. It's wide open. Now, <laughs> thirteen ghosts will escape, and then we'll have to put them back. I'd hate to hell? be this guy. I actually know what that is, and I have an excellent segue as to something related to it. But it is a Doctor Strange, uh, Multiverse of Madness popcorn bucket from AMC, isn't it, Jake? Yeah, it is. Hell yeah! <laughs> so it is okay. Pandora's box. <laughs> Funny thing is, I don't have AMC f- uh, theaters around me. I actually had to have someone send this to me. This came from our. <laughs> This came from Montana. This is from Cassie. <laughs> it is the hearsay tip jar whenever we play shows. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. I'm going to plug the hell out of the hearsay at the end of this. Okay, Josh, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, should I full screen this? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Here, that's way that was worth it. Okay, so we're trying to Can you guys sign hear into yeah. our Max account, and they have you like solve these puzzles to prove you're a human. These are the hardest puzzles. Click the arrows to sum the dice and match the number on the left. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not 16. Wow, this, this one's seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. What's that? You can't see what that one is. You can't even see the dice. Your other option is an audio challenge. <laughs> this is the best part. This is the best part. Which option is a repeating pattern? Type your answer as a number, then press enter. Let's see how easy this is. 
Option one. <laughs> Option two. <laughs> No. It's the same. <laughs> it was one, right? It had to be one. <laughs> it had to be one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Option one. <laughs> Option two. No. Option three. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a robot. I'm not no stinking robot. After all that, we didn't Great. even actually Thanks. have Thanks, an account. <laughs> 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 I like the ending. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the <laughs> most insane thing. Like, I, I want to lose my it's password a, just to do that. It's like option one on both of them sound like a bagpiper having a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, two of us here are musicians. Yeah. That was painful to <laughs> listen to. Well, here's the thing. I like I, I went into it. That's the second time I watched that video. And I, I went into it thinking, okay, pattern. I'm looking for the pattern. I couldn't tell you <laughs> like, what passes as a pattern in I, either of those examples. Not, not only are two of us musicians, and I use that very lightly for me. You, you're a drummer. This is literally your, your job. Your theme song is you. What are you talking about? What? It, are, do you play the theme? You wrote the theme song, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, here you go. But, uh, yeah, but like, course. a drummer is well, like, you keep time pa patterns. That's you. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's correct. I am like designed to look for patterns in the back of my brain. And even then, my brain just shuts off when I hear that. Hey, guys, you two keep each other company. I, I, I have to be right back. This is an emergency. I'll be right back. Okay. Same thing. Uh, um, uh oh. Uh, where do you think he's going? I think he's going to get a drum set. I don't know. Uh, also, I'm going to do the exact same thing as him, but I'm going to stay on mic. I have to go grab something to okay. show you. But let me ask you something real quick. Uh, sure. And this is a, a good segue for you. The background that you have, uh, I don't know if it's intentional, makes it look like you are Count Dracula uh, and that the red thing is uh, actually that, that, that's, that's my chair. That's actually the chair. <laughs> I thought that was the screen. No, no, the red thing... Well, the, the the heart is the background, but the the, the red thing behind me that's the, that's the chair. But yeah, I I never realized it kind of looks Dracula ish, maybe a little bit Doctor Strange. I'm all alone, Jake. What happened, to Ryan? Ah, uh, he got sick of me. Look, that was wildly unprofessional of me, but I had to, I had to pee so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Hi. Right, welcome back. So, this is the reason I had to go. And that's an excellent excellent segue to the Doctor Strange box behind you because as you both know, but Jake you definitely know, I am uh super into movies and more so, I'm very much a big fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. So, Wait, I saw what? Fast 10 your seatbelts uh 2 weeks ago. <laughs> and by the way, you can't convince me that's not why they call it Fast 10. Right, it's definitely fast in your seatbelts. Oh, it absolutely is, 100%. Uh, so I went, and they were like, cool, we're going to make a popcorn bucket for Fast and Furious. I'm like, awesome, Vin Diesel's head. Like, what are we going to do? And it's better than Vin Diesel's head, because what I want is something that really speaks to the Fast and Furious franchise as a whole. I need something that's absolutely not needed. I don't need it at all. I need it to be super unconventional. I need it to be super super improbable that it's even re re even remotely useful and they said cool i got you here's a popcorn bucket in the exact shape of dom toretto's <laughs> charger oh, wow wow i was hoping for just the supercharger sticking out of the hood no nope, no nope. it's just straight up the car and i know what you're saying ryan that's just a car that's not a popcorn bucket and you're mostly right but the hood <laughs> <laughs> and it holds what I assume is ten kernels of popcorn. Uh, like that is not much at all. That um, thing could hold two corn cobs of corn. Yeah, that's 
And it does not go deep in. Like, if you look, it's, like, right there. Like, that's where it goes to. So this is not much popcorn at all. But the best part is that the wheels... I know you can't really... Well, here, tell you what. I'll do that. The wheels <laughs> move. What? So it's like an actual toy. That's, uh... You know, I'm not a big fan of the Fast and Furious, but I would go for that popcorn bucket. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a bigger fan of that though. popcorn bucket than I am of the movies. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. That, you're wrong for I that. Mean, but. I mean, I'll watch those movies when I've lost all hope in humanity, and I want to just kind of go deeper into losing hope in humanity. Look, I, I've talked to Jake about this extensively, and uh, Josh, I, I'm sorry if you've heard me say it on the podcast before, but I wrote an editorial. Uh, some website thought it was smart. I lured them in. I was like, hey, I do reviews, and they're like, cool, let's see your reviews, and I wrote some reviews, and they're like, awesome, you can be featured on the site as a freelance writer. So I started doing reviews, and they're like, hey, we're looking for editorials. Who's got editorials? And I was like, well, Hobbs and Shaw is coming out, so will you let me write about the Fast and Furious franchise like up till now? He's like, yeah, that sounds great. It's like a recap, right? I was like, yeah. So I wrote it, and I wrote it. <laughs> did you end up reading that, Jake, when I uh, wrote that and sent it to you? I, I think I did, but okay. I mean, that was um, what? That was a, it was more than a year. Five, ago. yeah, five, <laughs> six years ago that I wrote it. It was when Hobbs yeah. and Shaw came out. I so, can't remember last Tuesday, so I did. I did read <laughs> yeah. that, but. Uh, so I wrote it, and uh, Josh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but not by much. I would write a, a paragraph about the first movie, and then my next paragraph would be like, and we're going to space. And then I'd write a paragraph about like the second movie, and then my next par- paragraph would be like, we're going to drift on the rings of Saturn. And then my next <laughs> paragraph, like I would just continuously mention how we're going to space. And uh, I remember when I wrote that, a lot of people messaged me, and they're like, hey, man, I enjoy those movies why the hell do you think we're going to space? Like, that's stupid. That's never going to happen. Why on earth would we do it? And to that, I say, the rock was strong enough to pull a helicopter down from a tow truck in Hobbs and Shaw uh, and literally fight black Superman. We're going to space. Like, there's you can't change my mind. So then Fast 9 comes out, Fast and Furious 9, whatever the hell they're calling it. Uh, yeah. And lo and behold, spoiler alert, they go to space. And I was in the theater, I guess, doing backflips. I blacked out. I don't remember. <laughs> but I was just like pumping my fist and punching the sky. And my wife was like, holy. I think she was annoyed. But more than that, she was impressed. She was like, holy shit. He was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they fucking. They, I mean, here's my problem with the Fast franchise. They jumped a shark on the first one. <laughs> and then they just got whoop. <laughs> Go to space. <laughs> what I love is that, like, someone, it, it, there's definitely a producer who was like, guys, why are we making eight of these movies? What are you going to do? Go to space? And Vin Diesel's like, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, of course we're going to space. <laughs> so, yeah, once you got to that part, I remember when that came out, I 100% blamed the space stuff on you. Yeah, like, no, that's my bad. I'm, I'm sorry. And, uh, no, don't be sorry. Don't never back down from that. Here's the problem. Like, I think that now we've gotten so big with with Fast 9 that, like, in Fast 10, which is considerably more grounded. Don't get me wrong. It's still stupid. My favorite <laughs> bit in Fast 10. And, like, this is I, – I was, my buddy was telling me, like, hey, man, I want to watch the Fast and Furious franchise. Should I start with 10? And I'm like, I don't think that's a smart idea at all. And then I watched 10 and the opening scene is uh, uh, his car, this car driving in LA doing like donuts, like infinity symbols around like a parking lot, perfect drifting around like a light post, two minutes straight of just that drifting. So the camera starts panning into the car. Vin Diesel gets out of the passenger seat and And you're like, Oh, is is Michelle Rodriguez driving? Is someone else driving? Who is it? (laughs) Camera pans over. It's his eight-year-old son. His eight-year-old son is drifting this car perfectly around, like, infinity symbols. And he's like, he can't even see over the steering wheel, dude. It's, like, here. And he's like, did I do it, Dad? I was like, perfect. This is a great series. Don't even try and make it make sense. Spit in my face. This is what I want this series to do. Well, I saw the trailer where he drove down Hoover Dam. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. (laughs) 
<laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Now, yeah, I, I've stood on that edge of Hoover Dam and looked down. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah. Uh, like, well, here's the problem. I can tell you guys right now, you're using reality and <laughs> physics, and that's not what you're supposed to do in these movies. All right. In these movies, you're supposed to be like, hey, what kills you? And then reverse that. And then that's what happens in these, this universe is someone – I'm not even joking with you right now, Josh. Someone falls out of the back of a plane as it's running on the runway, the world's longest runway. It's a 10-minute sequence of the thing trying to lift off. Someone falls out of the back of it, skids on the road, dies. Five movies later, they're back. They don't even well, try to well, explain. Yeah. I mean, let's see. How many times did Michelle Rodriguez die in it? And Two and a half? Michelle, speaking of <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez, she is the same character in every single fucking movie she's in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? One exception, New Dungeons and Dragons. She's great. No, she's the same. She, uh, she's a barbarian. She's great in it. it she's a barbarian, but she's oh. a barbarian with a sense of humor. Oh. And in all the other so, Fast and Furious movies, it's more so just her being like, you gotta be kidding me the whole time. <laughs> That's all she So does. So... I watched a movie on Netflix recently. Um, the mother was Jennifer Lopez trying oh, to yeah. be Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah. Wait. It was awful. Like if they were fucking just hired Michelle Rodriguez, it probably would have been the perfect fucking movie. But well, J Lo playing Michelle Rodriguez didn't work. Oh. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez. I think the problem is that she makes like one movie a year. And every five years, she's like, I'm going to make enough again. And she just keeps making the same movie <laughs> over and over. And it's always enough. Because I think enough was the first movie she did where everyone was like, oh, this is weird. Except for The Cell. The Cell is its own brand of weird. Enough came out in 2002. <laughs> what do you want from me? She's been doing it since 2002. It's been 21 oh. years. <laughs> and she, it's a streak that she hasn't broken. It's enough. She's like, no one sees these movies. And Netflix was like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no one sees any of our movies. Yeah. All we have to do is say that it's the number one movie and people believe us. <laughs> it's the number one movie on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Which means my mom watched it. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was going to say something. Oh, I remember. R Ryan, have you been to Universal Studios? Any of them? Oh, yeah. Uh, Orlando. So so have you been on the Fast and Furious Supercharged? I have. <laughs> How awful is that? <laughs> oh, it's bad. Uh, and it's something right. that I hate Universal for. Mm. Disney does it a little bit, but Universal is literally like whoever introduced the idea of a car that stands in one spot and screens move by it, uh, that guy needs to be shot and tried in the gulag because <laughs> that – Mo that whole uh, model was used for like I'm every ride at Universal now. Yeah, like everything uh, now is just Kong, Fast and Furious, um, Simpsons, Back to the Future. So, Same thing. So Fast and Furious at Hollywood at least was part of the back lot, and it was just cars on robotic arms that barely move. Mm -hmm. So yes, Josh, you are correct. Those are gone now. Now. Oh. It's they no supercharged is there now instead but so in hollywood the supercharged part is part of the entire backlot tour but it's the last thing on the tour so like you're going through these like real movie sets because oh. you know the actual studio like you're going through <laughs> it, courthouse square is this it, is like it, the, the whole ride right here <laughs> is, is it the uh is it the tunnel from uh um, yes the uh inferno tunnel or whatever the fuck it was uh, earthquake? I don't know it was about Hollywood. Some, it, was some, it was something. There. It was something else. Avalanche. Um, yeah. Avalanche. But, but it was something that it was something else before Avalanche at, in Hollywood, anyways. Oh, it was, in Hollywood. It was, like, I no it, it was some volcano fucking movie. Dante's Inferno. Yeah, that's the one. Avalanche was way before Dante's Inferno. Oh well, the the, the that to be fair, one, that I believe the actual Dante's Inferno was probably pre-Avalanche. Are we talking about like the actual event? Either way, I'm right. Either way, I'm correct. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. 
Hey, hey guys, should we talk some Disney really fast? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. I know I kind of just like up upheaved everything. So whatever you need no, to do. No, it's fine. A 40 minute preamble is totally fine on this podcast world. Let's talk some Disney! Okay, real quick. Little Mermaid's doing great in theaters, despite what everyone was saying. Done. I haven't seen well, it yet. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see it, actually. I'm, I'm very excited to see it. Although Sebastian really fucking creeps me out being an actual crab. It's a, he's a crab! <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're not playing that game. Uh, here's what sucks. I hate that like stupid people hate on this movie for obvious reasons. Or I don't want to say obvious, but their, needs, their reasons are known and it's stupid. Uh, what sucks about that is that I also don't want to see this movie, but I feel like that makes me a bad ally, so I have to go see the movie. And the reason I don't want to see it is Josh's reason because the crab, the fish, the bird's fine. They look like they're dying. They look like they're begging for mercy. And yeah. <laughs> look at Flounder. Look at Jake right now. Pull up a picture of yeah, Flounder. I haven't from seen the Flounder. Little Mermaid. Please, please show him because well, I haven't seen the seagull yet either. Although I the seagull's fine. The seagull's a bird. It's fine. It, the bird looks I, like I a know. bird. It, isn't the seagull a female voice this time? Yeah, it's, it's Aquafina. Aquafina. It's not a seagull. Ah. It's it's like a turn or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> An Arctic turn. I don't know. <laughs> it's a puffin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at this. That's <laughs> that, is the, that is the movie accurate version of Flounder. Jacob Tremblay's voice comes out of this thing. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope they don't do a fucking live action Finding Nemo if that's what the fish looks like. Right. And that's my thing. Like, don't remake these movies if you can't commit to, like, how it's going to look. Because this looks god awful. Look, I just want to say nothing you're saying is wrong. However, this convinces me to want to see it even more. No. I need to see this train wreck right here. (laughs) That's... I don't even know. I'm going to have nightmares, I think. Pull up a picture of Sebastian, please. Yeah, I was going there next. Okay, good. Yeah, see, see, I've seen Sebastian, and yeah, I don't I don't care for it so much. This is I, – I will reverse Jake's logic on him. He's not incorrect that this isn't just an accurate version of a crab. That, no, that is, is correct. It just doesn't it is a crab. Right. <laughs> so I want to know if Mr. Limpet's still in it. That's what I want to know. <laughs> not only it. is it a crab it's got eyes like fucking Mr. Krabs <laughs> this crab yeah. looks like it's up to something highly suspicious yeah I don't like that at all he's got the smile and his eyes are like drifted up and over hey, there, there's Dory founder <laughs> <laughs> all that being said Ariel looks great <laughs> yeah no, it's great. And honestly, I saw something online that made me laugh really hard. And it was someone saying, uh, hey, Ursula in this one is an octopus and not a squid like in the animated movie. So are we up in uproar about that? Or is it still the only other thing we're talking wait, about? Wait, wait, what? I thought she was so in, I in thought the she animated was movie, squid she's a squid. Time. Well, see which so, squid. So, so, I, so she had a beak in between her legs, too? Or her, uh-huh. <laughs> her tentacles? Yeah. Wait, was she really a squid? <laughs> Even yeah. in human form, there's a beak down there? <laughs> I, I'm not going to say we know what's under the hood. I'm just telling you that she is classified as a squid in the first, in the animated movie. And then in this no one, based on her tentacles and movements, people have, I'm, Disney has not come out and said she's an octopus, but people have studied it. Marine biologists have looked at the trailer and said, that's an octopus. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know the difference. You can tell me it's a goddamn cuttlefish, and I just believe you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so here's Scuttle, and I'm I'm fine with Scuttle. <laughs> Scuttle looks like a crackhead, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but that Scuttle is, is a crackhead. Scuttle, yeah, right. Scuttle was a crackhead. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, Scuttle works great. <laughs> yeah, I have no issues with Scuttle. Uh, it, it's just Flounder well, and Sebastian. I have no issues with Scuttle's appearance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have heard wait, that Aquafina wait. has a song in the movie, so pass. Isn't isn't King Triton uh, 
the scary guy off of James Ant- Bond and Anton no Chagall. For- yep. <laughs> well, hold on. Who? He's uh. Oh God. What villain does he play in um Skyfall? Or um, not Skyfall? Pitch- Spectre. Yeah, the creepy fucker. No, not Spectre. It is Skyfall. It is Sky- Skyfall. Yeah, Skyfall. Uh. <laughs> then no, 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 no. Skyfall was. Oh shit. No, it is Skyfall because Spectre is Christoph Waltz. Yeah, right. Waltz where they kill him. Whoa! Okay. Spoilers. <laughs> but it, for a movie that yeah, came yeah. out seven uh, years ago. <laughs> Javi, Eleven Javier years ago. Bardem. 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 Javier Bardem. Yeah. 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 yeah no, and I do Skyfall. appreciate that they made him, uh, or that they casted King Triton to be a different ethnicity than uh, Ariel. Because then that furthers the uh, stereotype that King Triton was just a hoe. And he was just hoeing all over the seven seas. Well, yeah, and That's why like, all his daughters are different ethnicities. Like, like all the fucking Greek and Roman gods were just fucking everything. Yeah. All of them. I mean, Triton is a Roman god. Is Greek? Roman? Jordan! <laughs> no, uh, Poseidon was one of the two. Triton was the same as Poseidon. and No, Triton was like Poseidon's kid. I don't huh. know. Silva. That was his name in Skyfall. Silva. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. When he pulls out, does he pull out his fake teeth and his face melts in, in Little Mermaid? That's what I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he does that in Little Mermaid. <laughs> you know, Especially because Trident, scene. Trident just means three teeth. So, you know, it it's makes Triton. sense. Oh, he yeah. holds a Trident, which has three teeth. Yeah. Oh, my bad. So, uh, Triton is the Greek god of the sea and the son of Poseidon and Amphitrite. Amphitrite. Excuse me? He's he's Poseidon's son. (laughs) (laughs) So, I want to know how his mother got pregnant. Because. Probably Zeus. <laughs> I mean, I in Greek mythology, that covers ninety five percent of the like, pregnancies. Like, 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 but in Greek mythology, the only one that didn't just fuck everything, whether they wanted to or not, was was Hades. Yeah, he just kidnapped his wife, but they loved each other, so it was okay. And he and he let her live Wait, with her mom six did months. Did she out say it was okay, or did he say it was okay? Because <laughs> well, well, I'm going to believe one over the other. <laughs> yeah, he 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 let her live with her mom every for six months out of the year, and she came back. So maybe maybe she thought it was okay. Greek mythology is just fucked. Let's can we agree on that? Uh, speaking on fucked, before we get into uh, more Disney stuff, I got to tell you both that you have to see Bo is Afraid. I, I I need you both to see the movie Bo is Afraid. Wait, is that the one with uh Walking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where, 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 where can I find this movie? Uh, it's in theaters right now, but it's been in theaters since April, so it's about to be on demand probably like tomorrow or next week. Um, I love movies where – well, that's end of sentence, but new sentences. I love <laughs> movies where uh, I could tell you what happens – And you'd be like, Ryan, just shut up and tell me what actually happens in the movie because that's stupid. And that's what Bo is Afraid is. I could tell you what happens in Bo is Afraid for the three hours of its runtime. And you'd be like, all right, dude, just you're probably it's been two months since you've seen the movie. You're just exaggerating now. No, it happens. And you have to see it. It's unreal. And it's from the dude who did Hereditary. I've never seen Hereditary. Do you like horror? I, yeah, I, yeah, it's a new too. thing. Like, I'm new into horror. How new? Like the last two years. Because my problem with horror. Now, follow me on this one. For a while, horror kind of sucked. Like, yes. Yeah, it was all. It's all fucking predictable. Yeah, that's you're, the problem. You're talking about the mid two thousands. Uh, no, no, mid Shutter, Grudge, <laughs> Uninvited, all that shit. Yeah, but then like now we're getting like really good horror, and like I watched the first uh, Conjuring. That was fantastic. I I, I want to finish the rest of those. Conjuring and Insidious are really good. I'm not going to say that they're the ones that brought horror back. That's a, a bit too broad, but uh, that's around the time that horror started reinventing itself and like actually being like Exorcist level again. Of like people are afraid to see these movies. It's not yeah. just like oh it's scary. It's like I. This is welcoming something in my house that I don't like. 
also, since you brought that up, uh, a, a big problem I had with horror is horror always has to like keep raising the bar. I actually watched The Exorcist for the first time ever two years ago. I hated it. It was so boring. Yeah. Like, I grew up thinking like, oh, this movie's going to be terrifying. I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> yeah, no one cared I, about I, Reagan. <laughs> they just left her upstairs. I, uh, I, I guess I cut my teeth on horror with the, uh, the original couple of Friday the 13th and mm. Nightmare on Elm Streets. And they, whichever one were fucking Freddy Krueger had the uh, Nintendo glove. The power glove. That, that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the so power bad. glove. It's like that's that's again a jump the shark moment, and that's where I just like that was like the fourth one. There was like six more after that. <laughs> oh, and three Although, of them had the word uh, "final" in it. <laughs> yeah, so so the first of the new um, nightmare movies accidentally went to the premiere. Walk me through that. <laughs> um, so, so my wife, uh, she worked for a rockabilly clothing store in Vegas at the time. Great it was start. Called, it was called <laughs> Betty Page. I have no idea where this is going. And, and so, well, no, she was the uh, inventory manager for the company. So th- at that time, they had two stores in Vegas and one store on Hollywood Boulevard. And so when she'd have to go to the Hollywood Boulevard store, the kids and I would go with, and you know, we, we had annual passes to universal cause it was right down the fucking street. And yeah. So we're just one night we're walk, walking the fucking Boulevard and like Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Hollywood okay. Boulevard. Okay. And it was the fucking premiere for uh, um nightmare on Elm street. And what's his name? The guy that took over Freddie, Jackie, Earl uh, Haley. Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah, yeah. Like, we were, like, this fucking far from him. Like, he came up and signed some dudes, signed the dude's autograph, an autograph for some dude, and just fucking Signed some dude's away. autograph. Yeah. Right <laughs> just, just random What's name. your name, sir? <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> this is now your signature. <laughs> or I'll fucking haunt your nightmares. <laughs> Anyways, that, what, that movie sucked though. The, I never saw uh, it. I one. Never saw it. <laughs> so I will spoil it for both of you. Whereas the first Freddy, the or the first Nightmare on Elm Street is just like Freddy is an enigma. Who knows how he got here? Like there's a lore, like a rumor that maybe he was a janitor uh, or a, a yard keeper, or whatever. Uh, yeah, he was, had a pot of boiled water thrown on him. Yeah, exactly. And he was scarred because of something that happened. And then the remake tries to posit the idea that what actually happened was that he is still able to go through dreams, but based in reality, uh, he was the yard keep, whatever. Uh, he was uh, Willie from The Simpsons, and he was uh, he was like inappropriate with like one child, and then or it was misunderstood that he was inappropriate with a child. So then the parents came and boiled water on him and like scarred him and like killed him. And then he now haunts dreams because that's something that you do when you die. And they make him like a sympathetic villain in the new one. And I'm like, I don't, I'm kind of on the opposite page as you, uh, Josh, because what I want is I want the Freddy who's just punning everywhere. Like first nightmare is great, but I want the Freddy that's just like, you know, sweet dreams and like eats you in your sleep or something. That's, (laughs) that's the Freddy that I want. I don't need Freddy. Who's like sympathize with me, please. Before. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't like, yeah, no, like, my, my, let me tell you my favorite Freddy. And it's not a good movie, but I love it. It was Freddy versus Jason. That's that, your favorite Freddy? He was such a good Freddy. That, I mean, that fucking movie all the, just, it's all Robert I, I love, but I love that movie. And after that, it was that, so it was, over the top and ridiculous. It's the same reason you like Fast and the Furious. Don't judge but, me. But, but after that one, it was fucking, it was, it was uh, Friday the 13th in space. No, that was right before that one. Oh, was it right it, before? It was yeah. Jason X and then, uh, yeah, because I remember yeah, that okay. uh, I hated Jason X until he used the uh, <gasps> sleeping bag. <laughs> Wait, Ryan, Ryan, is it your fault that Jason went to space? <laughs> now, I don't <laughs> want to say that Jason got to space 
after Fast and Furious, it took Fast and Furious shorter to get into space than it took Jason. Because Jason, it was his 10th movie. And Fast and Furious, if we're not counting Hobbs and Shaw, which we shouldn't, then uh, nine. <laughs> nine is where they went to space. So Jason can suck it because... <laughs> So Dom got to space faster than Jason. Than Jason, yes, that's correct. Nice. Well, I mean, so, you know, that's not my fault. But I'm sure that, like, my dad, I'm going to uncover like an editorial my dad made on like the sixth Friday the Thirteenth, being like, "They're going to space." I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ryan, real quick, what's the next movie franchise that's going to space? <sighs> you know what? Let's just let's just go right off the bat, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Oh, here we yeah, go again. It's either Mamma <laughs> Mia or Book Club, but I'm going to say <laughs> it's uh, probably Mamma Mia. I was going to go with Jurassic World, but no, you're probably more accurate. No, Did you I... know? I'm so sorry to do this to your podcast. Did you know that Fast and Furious was actually talking to Jurassic Park about like making one over? movie? <laughs> yes, I did know that. Uh, uh, fuck, are you serious? Like, yeah, no, a hundred percent. They're both universal. So universal yeah, I know. Is like, I know that. Let's do it. Like <laughs> a fucking crossover from Jurassic. <laughs> what was it? Fast, Fast and Park or <laughs> your Fast uh, Park? <laughs> fast, fast and Dinosaur. And Jurassic, fast and Jurassic. It would be Fast and Jurassic. Let's be honest. <laughs> Ju- Jurassic Furious. <laughs> 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 but here's the problem N- not a problem after jurassic world dominion which can i just say this star wars fans have nothing to complain about jurassic park is my all-time favorite movie and the pain that i experienced with jurassic world Domin- dominion unforgivable it, bring it, in fast is- and furious i don't care anymore <laughs> It's also it's almost impressive what Dominion does because Fallen Kingdom is a turd. Uh, I do not like Fallen Kingdom. Jurassic like World is phenomenal Kingdom. because it's literally like asking the question that Jurassic Park did, which is what if there was an actual park? In yeah, this time it's open. Well, and we, and we got the answer for that. Jimmy Buffett would run by with two margaritas in his hands. Yes, he would. He would. <laughs> Why does Jimmy Buffett come up every time Ryan's on the podcast? <laughs> oh, it's JBCU, you baby. JBC. <laughs> guys, guys, I went to Margaritaville, Atlanta on Sunday. Saturday. See? He's everywhere. It was fucking awful. We yep. are Jimmy Buffett. Did it Margaritaville was, it, play while you were there? I don't know. I was too busy being pissed off at our server for not serving us. She was probably not serving you because she was dancing in the floor to Margaritaville. The only thing I could hear was my blood boiling. (laughs) That's that counts. That's Margaritaville. Um, So like, like, so, okay, let me, so I went, I've been to the one in Vegas, Key West, Orlando, Hollywood, Florida, Nashville, and (laughs) the one in Arizona when it was there. Why are you going? It was shitty. I don't know. I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm trying to do the same <laughs> thing. I, I need to do the. I want to do the tour like like the motherfucker Rainforest Cafe video. <laughs> you're you're video. doing the slow burn Bloody Mary. You know that, right? Like once you visit the final Margaritaville, Jimmy Buffett's just gonna appear <laughs> in your bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> your bathroom that's toilet. what I hope for because I want to have words with him. Why are you getting a bitch about Disney being so commercialized in Central Florida when you're doing far worse things to the world? You know why? Because he wants it. If he if Disney was like, hey, we give up our lease to Santa's ones or wins or whatever, he'd be the first person who's like Margaritaville World. It's taking place. <laughs> Margarita <laughs> Universe. Yeah, Margarita Universe. The JBCU for real. Um this, the fountains at Epcot just shoot up Margarita. Margarita. <laughs> to be oh, fair, time. that is very Florida. That is a very Florida. <laughs> the fountain of youth is just tequila. R- real quick, Jurassic Park Dominion is absolutely an abomination because you did see it, right, Jake? Oh yeah, yeah. I- I'm just I- about finished with it. I've been watching it the last couple of days while I'm doing cardio. So. Oh, good. Well, my my main uh, problem with it is the first ten minutes. Uh, they the most exciting thing about the Jurassic Park franchise was the very last question of the second movie where they're like, we've done it. We've released dinosaurs into the wild. 
they're everywhere. They're in different countries, all over the world, different continents. Uh, I think it's stupid that the end teaser of the second one was they landed on the Eiffel Tower and you're like, oh, they're in France. And then it pans out and it's Vegas. And you're like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it was Utah. They're in Utah. Of course they're going to go to Vegas. Who gives a shit? Anyways. <laughs> So the third movie starts off with them being like, you remember how we said that the dinosaurs are everywhere and it's a complete abomination to what we can do and it doesn't make sense of how we'll get this handled? Well, we got it handled. And you're like, all right, how? And they're like, we did it. <laughs> we, we handled it. We just figured out how to live with dinosaurs. I don't know. So, okay, well, then the villain of this movie must be like the humans or like the dinosaurs, right? Nah, it's locusts. Like big, just big crickets. Big crickets. Just big yeah. old crickets eating crops and shit. You and know that shark we keep jumping over? It's in this <laughs> movie too. Dude, that's jumping a nematode. All right. You don't <laughs> jump a shark by saying, like, ah, dinosaurs. Eh, this is. We're but gonna have a drama of- with like a brontosaurus in the background, just like doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and why was the bad guy Tim Cook from Apple? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was the fucking he, He's I, the Barbasol guy. I, I never just that. watched. Why? <laughs> I just watched. Uh, uh, we we watched uh, singles last week. I mean, I've seen singles a lot, but you know, it was made in what ninety two, ninety three. So, yeah. Um, like but yeah, he's the main actor of singles, and he's like playing the same dude, just evil. It but, it is great how much of Jurassic World. And I do think that this was Colin Trevorrow's fault. How much of the Jurassic World trilogy feels like Star Wars? Because in the third one, we did not need, like, who's been there all along pulling the strings. And they just make it the Barbasol guy from the first Jurassic Park. Like, I've been the one doing the bidding and making everyone steal. Oh, Barbasol guy, is he there with you? That was probably Jimmy Buffett, dude. Dude, something just bounced through this fucking room. The, but this was predicted in the first movie, the first Jurassic Park, because Dodson, Dodson, we got Dodson here. See, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, what if everyone did care about Dodson? Let's but nobody did. <laughs> oh, I remember man. finishing the movie and I was like, is that supposed, I didn't even know his name. I was like, is that supposed to be the dude from the first Jurassic Park? Because it doesn't look like him. And he's yeah. also doing a really bad Tim Cook impression right now. And the biggest problem, well, no, one of the biggest problems, there it is. we did mention the locusts, <laughs> was that the third movie ended the exact same way the second movie ended. Because yes, it like, did. Now there's dinosaurs in the wild. What do we do? <laughs> Dude, it, it started the same as the second Jurassic Park, except with locusts. Well, and now the dinosaurs have just found their rightful place. Like, you know, the herbivores stay in the forest, so, and the predators are somewhere. <laughs> So this is this is one big problem I have with um the 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 whole series. Is there they they keep saying that the dinosaurs don't are are in a strange new world. No yeah. motherfucker, they were born in this world. They, you didn't just resurrect a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> you fucking it it was born in this world. It's not a strange yeah. new world because it's not been memories. to a different one. <laughs> Yeah. It's like orcas born in captivity. They don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get heat for that one, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It was just it was just another Chris Pratt paycheck. That's all it was. Um, and now he's the king of theme parks. And now he's he's so many king. rides. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Galaxy. Garfield. Guardians. Jurassic World. <laughs> multiple Jurassic World rides. Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> Guardians rides. Hey, hey, real quick, I just oh, last news item: uh, the Galactic Star Cruiser is closing, and I compared it to the Costa Concordia. Ryan, do you remember the Costa Concordia? I I don't remember the Coast of Concordia, but I remember when they first announced that it was closing. Uh, uh, the Galactic Star Cruiser, that is. See, the Coast of Concordia was this cruise ship that crashed like twenty years ago in Italy or something. Got hung oh, up on is the that rock. the one that? And then just wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. I want them to do that on the final Galactic Star Cruiser voyage. <laughs> just crash just, it somehow. Just, 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 you know, lift up one end with people in it. And they're just all falling out the other side. Yeah, let's just go full Titanic on this thing. Let's break the Star Cruiser in half in space. <laughs> I don't fully understand economics. I do a little bit. 
I, I don't understand how it's more profitable to not drop your prices and to just <laughs> well, shut down. Well, because uh, I, this is my theory. The whole concept failed as, as, oh. as overall. It's a good theory. Uh, obviously. <laughs> I like that so far. But they're not going to waste the building. They're going to uh, – they're, they're just going to build more fucking hotel on top of it. Or, and I'm not the first person to say this, but I do mean it with my whole chest, uh, give it to the Muppets. Uh, make it the Muppet Galactic Star Cruiser and just have <laughs> the Muppets doing the, ex- the exact same things, the exact same plans, just put Muppets in it. Like, like what they were doing in, in uh, Liberty Square. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Literally, don't even draw attention to it. Just have Kermit be like, you know. Uh, uh, okay, what? so so Gonzo Ray, Ray. Gonzo's going to have to be Vader. Of yeah. course, because the, the helmet's already made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kermit, Kermit would have to be Luke Skywalker, but Luke isn't there, so he'd have to be like Ray. Okay, Kermit's okay. gonna be Ray. Uh, Scooter Mara- has to be Kylo Ren. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and then um, Chewbacca, um, Sweetums. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, I was gonna say Fozzy. Fozzy would make sense with that, but Sweetums is a good one. Now Fozzy would be more like an Ewok. Oh, you and know what? Actually, Ewoka Waka, Waka. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you did. And, and then those little dudes in the trees. Salacious Crumb. Oh, I was like, and, are those Ewoks? Yeah, the, and, the lizard monkeys. Yeah, Salacious Crumb, animal. All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's got to be the name of the episode, too. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Ewaka waka. <laughs> you know what's great about that is Jordan's gonna be like the one episode I miss in his title that's for Star Wars and Muppets. <laughs> oh, they'll make it we, worse. It was like Ewaka waka, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire, and he'd be like, "God damn it!" <laughs> so anyway, let's end this episode by talking about uh, the thesis Jordan wrote in college. <laughs> <laughs> No, really quick. Do we, do we want to do a quick game of GeoGuessr? Just real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, quick. Okay, so Ryan, have you ever been to Disneyland? Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. Not oh, as wow. much as Disney World, but yeah, I have. Okay, so I, I'm going to change the rules on this. We've all played GeoGuessr, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, so we're not going to move the camera. Once it lands on a place, we're going to guess where that place is. So, okay, walk me through this. Is it, it has to be Disneyland and we're guessing what part of Disneyland it's in? Yeah. Okay, and I just found a Disneyland map right here on GeoGuessr. I didn't make this map. There's looks like there's a thousand plus locations on here. So I'm wondering uh, how zoomed in this image is going to be. Oh, it's going to be insanely zoomed in. Oh like, god! This is gonna be, I, I played it. I played this in Disney World. I mean, I played it right here in this chair, but a Disney World map. Yeah. And like some parts, you're like, oh, this is Epcot. It's like right in front. Of, Spaceship Earth, but then someone another part. It was just zoomed in on like a, a merchandise rack. <laughs> oh, good, good. I hope it's like oh. zoomed in on a dude's shirt, and you're like, it's the Epcot ball, and his shirt is like the Epcot ball, and he's at Animal Kingdom or some shit. <laughs> so, so yeah, the rule is, I'm not, I'm not, not spinning. We're just gonna guess where it is. Here we go, five rounds. Um, Ready? All right. It's loading. Start. Here we go. Okay. Toontown. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's uh, the the main oh, entrance it's... of California Adventure. Is it? Uh, uh, so... Yeah, yeah, because that's Grizzly Peak on the left, so it's it's you're facing kind of towards towards um, that entrance side of Grizzly Peak, and if you go on follow the train track or the trolley tracks to the right, that's the main entrance. Okay. So, so what kind of answer is it looking for here? Do you have to so, so... the exact location? So yeah. behind you on behind you on the left is the Italian restaurant in the 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 grape the grape vineyard and all that shit. Okay, so I'm gonna hit right here. Where? I, I, you, I you see them? It's right above Willie's churros. Oh, that's okay. Do you think that's right? right? Here we go. Eight yards away. I mean, yeah. See, I know my know my DCA man. <laughs> All right, next. 
See this. What? <laughs> that's the important. Well, hold on. We could probably piece it. This is oh, a that's the right? fan- that's the fantasy land hat shop. What? That's yeah, the fantasy right. land hat shop. Is the Mad Hatter. Is- yes, the Mad Hatter. That's the name of the shop. Where's the Mad Hatter? In Fantasyland. Is- but where? Okay, if you're facing the back side of the castle, it's on the left hand side, close to Toad. So, is it like between Toad and Peter Pan? Uh, where's the castle? So it's right here, right there. Sleeping Beauty Castle. Okay, so so Merlin's marvelous, whatever that is, miscellany. Okay, where's Toad? Toad is up here, past Peter Pan. Okay, oh, so oh, there it is, Matt Hatter. Right that there. One? Yep, that's it. <laughs> All right. One yard. <laughs> One yard. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is the American Pavilion. Or not P- Pavilion, but this is the America restaurant, right? Uh, uh, Liberty Square. Or not Liberty, Liberty Square. Square in Disneyland. Uh, New Orleans Square. So that's not it. Do they Golden have a Pecos Bill? Is this the Golden Horseshoe? That's the Golden Horseshoe. Which yeah. is? Yeah. yeah the, the, there's, there's the bar down there. Okay, Golden Horseshoe. I know that one. I don't know where it is. There it is. It, it, Top, oh, right center. There, right, right there. 11 yards. What, guys, we are killing this. This is amazing. Two more. <laughs> <laughs> well, well that, that, that one's Tomatoes Tractor Spin. Thing. Yeah, I want to say Radiator Springs. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's there. <laughs> Mayor's Junkyard Jamboree, that's what Which, by the way, Mayor's Junkyard Jamboree is so fun. Before you click guess, yeah. let's try and get as close to one yard as possible. So okay. how far okay. into the ride is this shot? Okay, there, there's, the, there's the entrance right there. That's okay. the entrance, okay. Yeah. So we want to be right on the entrance. Now we want to be off and to, let's see, looking at facing it, it would be off to the left. So, yeah, go just behind them. So like here. So so okay. Where? So like that barn there in the picture is uh, right here, right? Yeah. Try that. <laughs> well, hold on, no. Geo guesser is wrong because this planet. <laughs> yeah, that's it's just showing the cozy cone hotel. That wasn't the cozy cone. No, no, GeoGuessr is wrong on that one. Or guys, I'm writing a strongly worded letter. Maybe it was okay. the world's longest selfie stick. <laughs> oh, t- t- telephoto zoom lens? Yeah. <laughs> it feels dangerous. All right, so we, we win that round. They're wrong. Yeah. Oh, that's the Swiss Family Treehouse. Yeah, this was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I think you'd put easy, though, right? That was the category for easy? M- maybe. I don't know where the treehouse is. It's you're, you're in close. Adventureland. Uh, yeah. Tarzan's treehouse. Yeah. You were thinking Disney World, right? Yeah. I, I, I forget they changed the name. Almost a perfect score, except for that one telephoto zoom lens. All right, we're going to have to go another round to get perfect. Wait, hold on. Ryan, fast. do you have time for one more? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm just going to go play Zelda after this. So, <gasps> Isn't Tears of the Kingdom amazing? It is great, and it's awesome because it's so stupid. It's it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be ridiculous. You make it ridiculous. Yeah, it's as stupid as you make it, and I make it real stupid. H- have you made so, the fan bike yet? Yes, I have. It's so, so handy. It is. It doesn't time out. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right, where's this? So, so, so this is Frontierland. Oh, there's the stage door cafe right there. Right? Yeah, right. yeah. But I don't know. It, it's so it's like it's, right, kind of right below it, right? Yeah. Hey, can, yeah. Can I ask how do they just, take these pictures before you press guess? Josh can answer this. Uh, there's some dude with a backpack with the camera on these ones. Okay, because apparently he was writing the um, the steamroller from Roger Rabbit because if you look at the very bottom center of this picture he has completely yeah. flattened these people 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay, they're tunes. They'll just pop right back up. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, guys, in two weeks, I'm going, I'm taking a Southern California trip, going to Universal and Knott'sberry Farm. Nice. And I'm very excited to go through the real Toontown Tunnel. It's up on Mount nice. Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, you got to take videos. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to be all over that. The last time I went through it was on accident. Like, I'm driving through it, and I'm like, this tunnel looks familiar. Also, the same tunnel from Back to the Future 2. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Back to the Future 2. Two yards. Look at that. Oh, nice. All right. Come on. Well, <laughs> that, that's Space Mountain. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just also remembered... It's, so it's like right here on this plaza out in front. Yes. Yeah. Because Starcade's on your right, yeah. Yeah. Woo! There oh, you go. 10 yards. Nice. So how many yards gets you the full 5,000? I, I don't know. I don't – like, so the only one we missed, what was that, 79 yards away? Yeah. So probably so, over 50. Probably. It also might just depend on the map. Well, this is Frontierland again. No, that's Tom Sawyer's – no, nope. no, that's Frontierland. Look, there's the hub. Yeah. You can see the yeah, yeah, I, I can see, I can see it now. Okay, so that's like right. I'm, I'm going to do what Ryan just, said. Just, just barely on the inside of the doors. Okay, I can't. So is this where the gate is? It's like right yeah, inside. yeah. That's because Westwood Ho would be on the other side. Okay, so like, yeah, like I know right. where it is, but I wanted to pull a Ryan and be like, how close can we get? Yeah. But oh, whether it's correct is the wrong. See, it was incorrect. Oh. Again. Yeah, this I is still got five thousand points. See, this is still showing through the gate. The gate's so, right so, here. So when they're incorrect, it's someone's photo that they upload to Google Street Finder. And, and they just kind of put that there. Yeah, when it's correct, it's the dude's backpack. So, so I um, want to know with with Oculus or any freaking VR headset. Can you just walk through Google Maps? I mean, I would totally go to Disneyland or Disney World and walk through it with Google Maps with the headset. You're not going to get a full range of motion. Like things aren't just going to go by you because it's still still well, pictures. Right. But it would still be fucking awesome. Yeah. Now, this is the <laughs> entrance between California yeah, Adventure that, and that, Fantasyland, that, right? That, that Esplade. Es- Esplanade. Esplade. Esplanade. Yeah. Esplanade. Esplanade. Oh, there you go. Disneyland Esplanade. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, Disneyland. Where? That's a big Disney, Esplanade. Disneyland is on is on the is on the left. Okay. Cal, Cause wait, no, where's the monorail track? On the map. It's yeah. Right so, here. so yeah, Disneyland's on the right. Right. Oh yeah, because over here on the left, you can barely see the Soren building through the palm trees there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right so and the, so you're on the big freaking the 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 star thing the the. Compass. Oh, that's a like dead center. Yeah, but it's kind of spot. barely off center. Yeah. It's okay. Where yeah, cam- see, it's where that camera is. is. Yeah, it's where that camera is. Okay, here we go. Here. Well, that camera is dead center, but see in the picture, we're a little yeah, yeah, off the star. Two that's yards. Pretty, that's pretty good, nice. guys. That's pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Tune down. Down. There you go. Yeah, but it, where? it's the laugh, the laugh warehouse. Jesus Christ. It's the Come gag on. factory. Whatever. <laughs> the gag factory warehouse. That's that's I love the fucking uh the plunger for the dynamite in that little building there. Wait, is the gag factory still there? I don't know. I haven't been there the since it is. All right. So we're like right. So so there's the little outcrop building where you get to go play with the dynamite and move the bars of the gel cell and all that shit. Yeah, that looks like oh wait, is it right here? Or over I, here? I don't know. I don't see your mouse pointer. Yeah, you know, my cursor doesn't show up on the map. Why doesn't it show up on the map? Huh. Can you see it on the map? Yeah, I can see it on the map. Weird. Well you can place your pin and still change the pin, right? Oh wait, can oh yeah. So is it like there? Or over here, because there's like several outcroppings. I think it's closer it's where I think it's closer where you were the first. One. Yeah, that well, one right go, there. Because if you think, look at this blue building on the right. I think that's that dip on the right, that little bubble that sticks out. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the warehouse. Yeah, that's the opposite side. Okay. So like on yeah, the left side right. of that circle. Yeah, right there. Oh, right here? Yeah, the, no, that's where the too, warehouse too side is right in. now. So you got to back up a little bit. Okay, so like right here. That's what I'm yeah. seeing. Yeah, you try that. Yeah, I think a little bit to the right, like literally like a, an inch, not even an inch to the right. And then, yeah, you're golden. Yeah, that's there you perfect. Go. We weren't even at the right building. <laughs> 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 but we still got a f- f- full 5,000. So there's no so, way that's true. This shows that you're inside of a building. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's see, that, that's, that's the building I was talking about because that's about where the dynamite plunger is. Huh. All right. Let's... We got a perfect score, you guys. It doesn't even matter. We, we ended this on a high note. So, Ryan, thank you for coming and joining us. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. It's always nice to, I, I think the running gag is you guys invite me. I'm like, okay. And I just don't show up. So it's <laughs> nice to always join these things. <laughs> and you know, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Even when Jordan's here. <laughs> Cause I, the last like two or three times that you've been on was Jordan wasn't here. <laughs> there was a no, Halloween look, we episode have to where avoid you it at the very end. We have to avoid it being a crossover episode is the idea, right? We got to tease it. That's right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad we talked about so much Disney this episode. Tons. Tons of Disney. I even, <laughs> I even clicked the button that said, let's talk some Disney. Before we go, Ryan, your band, plug it right now. Uh, so I'm in a band called The Hearsay. We actually just had a show on Saturday. Uh, we're going to have another show if you're in the Marietta area, uh, downtown Marietta Square at a place called The Third Door on June 10th. And then on June 17th, put it on your calendars, we are playing a YouTube live series called uh, Streamboat. And it is hosted by our friend Justin McEver. He does a thing called Diddy Deep Dive. Jake, you would love it, where he has bands. Uh, we'll be the first band, but artists play uh, their songs and then he kind of deep dives into like the meaning of the song, the lyrics, and then just kind of getting to know the band. And it's a great way to get to know local bands. That is Streamboat on YouTube. And it's a great series. We'll be on that June 17th. So and that, will just had live? That. that will be live, uh, live 6 PM Eastern Saturday, June 17th. And then we just released a new album in September called uh, be there next Sunday or see you next Sunday. I don't remember. Uh, and, uh, it's on Spotify, Apple music, wherever you get your music. Uh, and we are touring all over Georgia whenever we have weekends free. Well, if you ever make it out to Vegas, I'd love to make it out to Vegas, dude. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, you'd love for me to make it. I was like, are yeah, you yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can go to Vegas right now. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You live right next door to Vegas. It's well, like, it's, it's the biggest City How do your kids sleep? What? Well, my kid sleeps in Vegas. Oh, yeah, Josh's kid does live in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. For a second, Sorry. I was like, is, isn't he in Japan? No, the other uh, one. My, my, the uh, other one. My, my other adult child. Got it. Not Robbie. No. Robbie no. and not Robbie. Yeah. And, well, yeah, that's her name, too. It's not right. Oh, how nice. Wait, <laughs> if she's the oldest, that would be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> well, she You're not now. Robbie, so I'm going to need someone Robbie later. <laughs> Look, this wouldn't be the first time we've demoted Robbie, so. <laughs> Hi, Robbie. Not Robbie's the oldest now. Robbie listens, so. <laughs> well, he does it right now. He's on a boat in the middle of the ocean somewhere. <laughs> it's He's on a boat. <laughs> Yeah, I know that song. I can see you <laughs> trying not to say the rest of the song. I hate that song. It's so stupid. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's great, but yeah. I like how your like your face is just Blackbeard flags his crotch. <laughs> hey, hey, holy crap! He's got another face right there. Yeah. Oh. That one doesn't look happy. No, and, and it looks very happy also, actually. He's he's also got a uh, um. This, that's a uh, chalice horn. Sa- sand timer. That's a the bike fuck? horn, my man. No, that's a that's a, that's a little fucking timer thing. <laughs> no, it's an air. It's, a horn. It, it's, it's an, an hourglass. Yeah, because they had those in the fucking 
pirate days. Just a fucking Black pirate Beard out there. Did. Black Beard can have whatever he wants. Well, yeah, now, I mean, I've he, seen he Our was, Flag Means Death, and that's was, totally a Black Beard thing to do. So He was yeah. a fucking, he was a demon. Uh, he was a trickster, too. Right? Hence the horn. Imagine the last thing you hear before you die. Just <laughs> <laughs> the most, the most menacing sentence, and then <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He didn't really have the the slow burn um, cannon wicks in his beard. He had just a couple horns up in there, and just like <laughs> <laughs> those little, those little uh, bike spoke beads in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> and he does cartwheels. <laughs> He was fucking fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, listener and viewer, thanks for watching us and listening to us. For the listener, you might want to check this one out on YouTube. There's a link in the description. There's a lot of visuals on this one. If you want to see the popcorn bucket, you got to go on YouTube. You got it. The link is right there. I put it on every episode, so check it out. You can just fast forward to the pa- – to- you can just fast forward to the popcorn bucket part. Hey, yeah, you, just, you, just you, come you in for the popcorn bucket. That's all you did. I'm saying, look, if you guys want me on for Ryan's popcorn bucket corner, I will yeah. do it. No, like I, I don't mean that's all but, you did on the show. I mean that's why you went to the movie and got the popcorn bucket. That's you were true. Just yes, it's got to be the same popcorn bucket every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> now this one is the Fast Ten Charger. <laughs> But different angles every time. Yeah, I'll just paint it a different color. <laughs> and and the wheels move. You know what? Actually, that's a great idea, Josh. What I'll do is I'll just paint this same car for whatever movie I'm talking about. And like, now, this is the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Charger from Fast 10. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all from Fast 10. So, now, this is the oh, Martin Scorsese guys. Killers of the Flower Moon Charger. Oh, from God, Fast 10. guys. Guys, so the comp- the EMS company I worked for, we had a helicopter. Half of it was painted blue and half of it was painted green. And the reason was is because that helicopter was contracted to two different hospitals. And so they would land with the different side facing outwards. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's too much work. <laughs> Does Ryan work for this helicopter company? I think I'm making a pretty good case for an application. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to send the helicopters to space and you can't do that, Ryan. Uh, you can. We have a helicopter in space. Thank you. And what? also, all I have to do is talk to, I have to talk to Bow Wow and he'll put a rocket on it or something. That's what happened in 9. So, yeah, it's fine. Oh, and boy. then you can strap a Korok to it. And just... Oh, that's right. They launched yeah. their cars into space, didn't they? Now, they didn't launch their car. What they did is they literally, this is what I love. They could have just been like, I've invented zero gravity, dog, and like they're in space. But they literally just do the simplest thing of like, we have a rocket, we have a car, rocket car, we just launch it into space. (laughs) Just like on Tears of the Kingdom. Just like in Tears of the Kingdom. Huh. Huh. You said that in my brain, I I finished that off with Tears of the Sun. Like I don't remember that scene at all. <laughs> you don't remember the rockets and tears of the sun? <laughs> Wait, that's not with Bruce Willis, right? Yeah, getting the people out of the jungle. <laughs> we gotta get these people out of the jungle. Rocket. <laughs> 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 Rocket car jungle. <laughs> this has so many applications. <laughs> Titanic would have worked for Titanic. Yeah, night, Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a rocket on Nancy. <laughs> Problem solved. Can't get you if you're dead. <laughs> Ryan, all I'm saying is, and, you know, they're very much in their right to do this, but there is a writer's strike right now. <laughs> if you want to jump on some of these ideas, you're not I am the guilt. one step above AI. I, I am one okay. step above AI of what <laughs> they can produce. Little Mermaid 2, rocket, car, yeah. ship, space. I really hope that it gets to a point where someone like sees, I don't know, Mamma Mia 7, and they're like, <laughs> oh, I wonder who directed this. And like Meryl Streep gets like attached to a rocket, and they're like, god damn it, this was Ryan Stare, wasn't it? <laughs> Again, every time. Michael Bay has his like sweaty filters, 
Uh, Sam Raimi has a zoom in. Ryan has his, someone strapped to a rocket. <laughs> Tarantino oh, has God. his feet. <laughs> yeah. It's my feet for sure. That's my, I'm not going to say it's my fetish. That's not good. I'm not putting that on the internet. <laughs> Ryan's rocket fetish. Okay. <laughs> Peter's being fetish. called on that one for sure. So let's not do that name. <laughs> Well, we can to change the name to the episode. <laughs> I can't. You walk the walk is good. <laughs> hey, our wrap up is just as long as our preamble. <laughs> <laughs> that's co- that's consistency, baby. We are nothing if not consistent. Hey, if you, hey, don't worry, if you enjoyed this, we are the Mickey Mutineers. Ryan, thank you again. If you have not enjoyed us, we are uh, Jack Haley as Freddy Krueger. What did yeah. you say? <laughs> hmm? What did you say? I said Jackie Earl Haley is Freddy Krueger. What did you oh, say? Oh, wow. Samesies. Oh. No. Muggy buddies. All right. <laughs> well, here's the problem. I can tell you guys right now, you're using reality and <laughs> physics, and that's not what you're supposed to do in these movies. All right? <laughs>